are you guys today? We're getting an FST7 shoulder workout in. Three and a half weeks out from Olympia right now. Make sure you're warm up your shoulders good, regardless of where you're at in your prep. Off season, three weeks out from Olympia. Always make sure you're warming your shoulders up. Start off real light. Two warm sets, and we're gonna go into three working sets. My first working set, I'm still not gonna go extremely heavy. Probably gonna grab the 75s. I'll do about 10 reps. I can probably do those like 30, but 10 controlled reps and we'll work our way up. Good breathing. Inhale, exhale. I'm gonna go to the hundreds. I'm knocking out the 10. You guys can see my form is still very precise. It looks the exact same as what I'm doing in the 70s. If I can't do the weight the same exact way, it's too heavy. Leave your ego at the door. I can wiggle the 150s up over my head. I ain't gonna do anything but hurt myself. We're doing alternating with a static hold. I'm going a little heavier on these. So I'm gonna try and do as many as I can alternating. And once I gas out, I'm going to finish the partials. Good breathing. You got to keep it tight. It's all in your head. Be strong. Uh, one more. I got it. Up. One. Two. That's it. Woo. Those will get you pumped. Those, uh, those static holds in between. It's important not to lock your elbow out on those. A lot of people will lock their elbow out. They take tension off their shoulder. So it makes it easier. There's all the pressure on your joints. When you're up here, slight the elbow, pass some tension on the, on the deltoid. We're going into more of a finesse movement. We're going to be utilizing a side lateral raise where we'll be implementing another FST7 training principle the static hold. So we're going through a series, we're gonna hold. Five, five, four, four, three, two, one. Finish the partials. Together. Woo! Alright you guys, so in between sets, we're looking at about 90 seconds of rest in between set right now. This is more of a higher intensity exercise, so I'm going to require a little more rest time so I get full work out of that next set. When I branch off in my supersets, you guys will see my rest time will decrease. Let it burn! Come on! Yep! Light it up! Come on! Ah! All right, guys, I'm going front raises with the easy curl bar right here. I'm not going too heavy. I'm only using 50 pounds, but very concentrated reps. I'm isolating my front delt. So from the very bottom of the motion, I'm contracting the front delt from the bottom, okay? A lot of people go heavier and they'll swing the weight, takes the front delt out of it. She's going to lightweight, squeeze in the bottom. I'm going right to about shoulder width. If you go too high, you start recruiting the trap. So you want to make sure you're going right out shoulder width, contracting the front deltoid, and coming back down under control. That's how you're going to optimize that pump. Squeeze from the bottom, front delt. Chest up, good posture, front delt.
So in FST7 training, we like to flex in between sets. The reason why we do that is to optimize blood flow. If you think about it, when you're lifting weights, if you're gonna fight against the strongest weight, you have that static hold, your body's pushing the most resistance. Same thing with a contraction and a flex. If you're squeezing as hard as you can, you're putting maximum force output to cause more maximal tension on those fibers to increase blood flow, which will create more micro tears, which will lead to growth. All right, guys, it's very important to make sure you're training all three heads of the shoulder. You've got your front head, the medial head, and the rear head. So you gotta make sure you're training all aspects of the shoulder. If you have a lagging head, uh, definitely start with prioritizing that part of the shoulder. For me, I've just been focusing on creating uh, width to my shoulder. That's why I focused on the lateral movement first. Whereas somebody who might be lagging the front delt, you might wanna start the front movement, or somebody that's lagging in the rear, start the rear movement. Right now, we're gonna jump into rear deltoids because it's what we haven't trained yet. We're performing a superset. The first thing we're gonna be doing is a cable face pull. It's an excellent exercise to push a little bit more weight, get that rear delt to fire. And then right after that, we're gonna superset it with a bent over upright row. It's a little bit more finesse exercise, not too many people do it, but it's a very good exercise to go light, to be precise with the rear deltoid. All right, guys, the last exercise we're doing is one of my favorite exercises for rear delts. It's a single arm, easy curl bar, lateral raise. This exercise makes you stabilize the bar, which adds extra tension to the deltoid. Your lat open, elbow out, and lateral raise. You have to control the motion, otherwise the, the barbell will wiggle on you. Very, very strict motion. Oh! How are you guys? You just got to witness first hand one of my last three shoulder workouts before the 2017 olympia it's crazy to say i only got two more full shoulder workouts before i step on stage for the fifth time i put a lot of hard work in this prep as you guys can see i'm still giving it my all pushing myself each and every single set i have a mission i have a purpose that's come out on top like i do every single year nothing's changed it's coming, three and a half weeks.